Thanks, Corrine. Um, a clarity question on the border and then another topic sure. if I can. Um, Mitch McConnell did just say, we have no real chance here to make a law. Does the White House still think that there is a chance that this border bill gets passed? You know, it is, uh, it is deeply disappointing if that is indeed the case. Uh, obviously, uh, Mitch McConnell is, uh, is, uh, is part of leadership there, and so uh, obviously what he, uh, what he says has weight, but it is disappointing to hear, right? As the part president stated, there is no reason why politics should get in the middle of this. Really, there really isn't. We are dealing with an issue that majority of Americans care about. Fixing the, starting the process to fix the immigration system, dealing with the challenges at the border. It's there. It's right in front of them. The text came out on Sunday. We don't understand why they won't move forward. I, I keep saying that, and I actually do understand, uh, which is, you know, they're, getting pol they're letting politics get in the way. They need to show some spine here. They need to show some spine and deliver for the American people what majority of American people want. And it should not be about politics here. I, you know, it's taken two, more than two months where folks were working, people in the Senate were working around the clock to get this done through the holidays, to get this negotiation done, you know? And they did it in a bipartisan way. I, you know, it is, uh, it, is, it is unfortunate if that is indeed the case, that it doesn't get out of the Senate or, you know, just doesn't move forward, period. Um, and then on another topic, um, <coughs> expanding access to affordable internet has been a priority for this administration, but the affordable connectivity program is going to expire soon unless Congress takes action. We've been talking a lot about how difficult it's been for Congress to move forward on things. Is there any sense that the administration thinks that that program will be extended? And if it isn't, does the administration have other ways to keep that program going without congressional action? So Karen, it's a great question. I would have to talk to our Office of Ledger Affairs uh, to get a better sense of where they are with this and what their read is. Obviously, this is why the bipartisan infrastructure legislation was so important. We had the broadband component to it uh, and getting technology, getting that access to all Americans across the country, whether it's rural America, urban America, suburban America, whoever you are, it is important uh, to make sure that they have that access. It's important. Uh, it it is so important, that's why the President wanted to make sure uh, that it was included in the bipartisan infrastructure uh, legislation. But look, and I, I, as I'm reading out, bipartisan, that was done in a bipartisan way, right, the infrastructure legislation. So it's not like we can't get this done, you know, we have had some pretty historic, historic pieces of legislation that was been done in a bipartisan way. Uh, and so, look, I have to talk to Office of Ledge Affairs, we'll, we'll, get, we'll have more to share for you.